Hi everyone, I'm Sajjan. I studied my 11th and 12th grade in Sri Chaitanya College, Marthali, Bangalore. I would like to share my feelings when I first checked my key, the provisional key which was NTA release. Um, initially, there was one question which was not my favor, and I would like to talk about it. It was a physics question, um, the question related to the one which has statement 1 and statement 2, and it's from Atom's chapter. Like in that, I had a doubt like how do I go through this. If we see the question in one way about the context, then we would say that like we would choose one answer. Like if I would want to relate like the first part of the statement with the second part, then I would go with one answer. That's the contextual answer which I offered in the exam. But if you would like to see it in the other way, then like if we take out of exceptions and all that, then we would say the other option. So I felt it was a bit ambiguous and yeah, just because they uh, gave the other key so I thought of challenging it and I'm really happy he, he accepted my plea and yeah, they accepted both the answers. This was a really happy moment for me. And yeah, if you want me to talk about the subjects, um, say botany and zoology, um, there are many statements which we'll have to remember them as such and there are some things which we won't be able to comprehend until we like, know them actually. So for those things, I would say like noting them down and then reading them again and again would really help us and highlighting those words which are important in the state might help us remember it. Coming to physics, we have two parts. One is the theoretical part and the other one would be the problem solving part. So in the theoretical part, um, I would say remembering the statements and remembering various um, concepts and how they go on, that would help us. And in the problem solving part, it's all about applying concept and knowing the way how to solve the problem or how we come about it. And then coming to chemistry, again, it's like about comprehending reactions in organic chemistry. And then in physical chemistry, it's all about problem solving. Then coming to inorganic, you have to remember various stuff. And yeah, there are a lot of exceptions in chemistry that's really important and we'll have to know it. So yeah, getting all these things together and revising them again and again will really help us. Thank you. Thanks a lot.